Hi, I'm Carly with Close to My Heart, and today I want to introduce you to our Nevermore paper collection. You can see the beautifully designed papers here are perfect for working with Halloween gifts and pages. But one of the great things about these papers is that they are so versatile that you can actually use them to create artwork that is not Halloween theme specific. First, let me show you a few of the pieces that I have created that are Halloween. One of my favorite things about this page is that it uses multiple of the background and texture papers from the paper collection. And you can see here on this purple paper, from a distance you wouldn't really be able to tell, but right here, this pattern is actually created using spiders. So it gives it a little bit of a spooky element. And then you also have a fishnet and some papers and some other fun textures to help your Halloween photos really pop. Also on this page, you can see the Nevermore assortment. And there are these cute faceted gems with patterns behind them or pictures behind them. And I'll show you those a little closer. So you can see right here, there's a spider, there's a spider web. You've got kind of a hypnotic little circle going on there. So lots of fun elements that can be used on artwork to give it more of a Halloween theme. Let me show you another piece of artwork that uses these complements. And it's this great little pint size container that we have. And we've added this cuff of B&T background and texture paper that uses the spiders again and the fun stripe, but then it also uses that assortment that I showed you and some of the great Halloween themed compliments to dress it up a little bit. And that helps add more of the Halloween theme to it that we were talking about. Here's another great little piece of artwork. It uses our designer creations bag. So the bag already comes decorated. That gives you a little idea of what it looks like. And all you need to do is add some of the papers, some stamping, again, here's the assortment. And then right here, this little checkerboard, it actually comes from the paper kit as well. It's one of the zip strips. And let me tell you a little bit about the zip strips. On the background and texture papers, you can see that they've got these full 12 by 12 designs. So this goes all the way up, but then you have this extra little strip up here that you can cut off to give you a border. So this one has some fun, creepy words. And this one has the checkerboard that you saw on the bag. It's also on that page. And this one has some great creepy birds or ravens on there. So there are lots of great elements that you can use to make spooky pages and cards and gifts. But like I said, let me show you some artwork that uses the papers, but not necessarily in a Halloween theme manner. We'll start here with this card. This uses the steampunk gear paper from the pack, as well as the word paper, just in a little dovetail banner up here. And all I've done is add some cardstocks that didn't come in the paper collection to give it a little bit of a different feel. Here's another one that uses this great damask type background and texture paper. And then I've added some peacock and some other colors and embellishments to give it kind of a fun flair that isn't Halloween themed or specific. I also have this great card that still keeps with the purple because there are little purple elements in here, but because I didn't add a Halloween sentiment to it, it has kind of a feminine flair that can be given for anything. It just says hugs and clothes with a cute stamp on it. So just by simply adding some non-specific embellishments and whatever stamp I want, I can really take the background and texture papers any way I want. Cards aren't the only place you can use this either. Right here on this layout, you can see by adding some peacock cardstock, as well as some glacier and this aqua shimmer trim, I was able to take the papers in a completely different direction. So here's that same steampunk gear paper, as well as the stripe that has the orange and the purple in it. But by adding the, the different colored embellishments, as well as some fun, titling from our Cricut cartridges and some non-themed embellishments, I was able to take it a completely different direction. And for my last piece, I have another card and it's using that same paper, but then adding pomegranate and eggplant inks to create some flowers and this great banner, I was able to give it a feminine flair and this card can be given for anything. It doesn't have to be with Halloween. And it has the great, wreath here from our artistry cartridge. And like I mentioned on this cute banner, you can see there actually, it goes from eggplant to pomegranate to eggplant again. 
and that's called the rock and roll technique. And if you want to learn more about that technique, we'll actually have a video on our CTMH official Instagram that you can look for coming up and that you'll learn how to make that technique. So as you can see here, this paper collection has everything you need to make great Halloween themed artwork or whatever kind of artwork you would like. To learn more about the Nevermore collection and other Close to My Heart products, contact your Close to My Heart independent consultant. And if you don't have a consultant, visit closetomyheart.com to find one in your area. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, and at our blog, makeitfromyourheart.com, for even more creative inspiration.